A judge ruled DC police must now begin keeping track of the race of every person they stop. It is required by the NEAR Act, which was passed in 2016. Inez Delacuatar reports advocacy groups say collecting this data is the first step to finding out whether there is any unconstitutional over policing going on in the city. Advocacy groups are calling it a victory for the rule of law. It's been three years since DC's council passed the NEAR Act, a law requiring police officers to record the race of every person they stop. This week, a judge ruled police must finally begin to comply. It's been a long three years in which DC police have for a long time failed to do anything about the data collection requirement. The D.C. Superior Court's ruling came after a number of advocacy groups, including D.C.'s American Civil Liberties Union, sued the city, arguing officers were not properly collecting that racial data. For anyone who thinks that the court ruling is, is something that, that uh, changed anything that's happened here, it's not. Police say they were planning to implement a new data collection system by the summer anyway, and that in the meantime, they'd been complying with the law by recording all traffic stops on body cameras. We disagree on that. Uh, whether or not the inter interim solution was sufficient. But the court wants police to do more. The judge is ordering police to now use this form at every stop. Officers will be required to very clearly indicate things like the subject's ethnicity, the reason for the search, and the results of the stop. The ACLU says the ruling is crucial, as collecting this information is the only way to know if police are targeting certain demographics. This data will enable us to see if something systemic is going on, and that's the first step to reform. Now, police have until July 25th to begin compiling this racial data using this form right here. If they don't, the ACLU says it'll file a motion of contempt, which could result in financial penalties for the police. In Washington, Inez Delacuatera, WUSA 9.